P-Text mapping allows a model to be painted without the use of UV maps. From the main menu, select Mesh, P-Text Setup. The model changes in appearance and the P-Text Setup window opens, along with a help window titled How to Prepare Your Mesh for P-Text. Clicking the Tell Me More button at the bottom of this window opens the Mudbox Help files for P-Text Setup. Close the Help window. Zoom in on the model's nose area and observe the pale green grid displayed across the surface. The sharpness of the grid being displayed indicates how high the P-Text resolution is. This sharpness value is measured in tessels. The number of tessels currently displayed on the model is indicated in the P-Text Setup window. Click the Increase or Decrease buttons in the P-Text Setup window to sharpen the edges of the grid lines. As you click these buttons, note the changes in the grid appearance and that the current resolution is displayed in the P-Text Setup window. The number of tessels mapped onto the model can impact your computer's performance. It is unwise to specify a higher resolution than necessary. When you are satisfied with the resolution, click Done. The P-Text Setup window closes, the grid that covered the model disappears, and a message appears on screen telling you that the mesh is now prepared for P-Text painting. Click the UV View tab at the top of the interface, and you can see that the UV map has been eliminated from the file. You may now paint and sculpt as you normally would to develop your model. If you wish to change the resolution of the P-Text map, simply start the process again and use the Increase or Decrease buttons in the P-Text Setup window. Sometimes, you will have a need for one area of the model to have a higher resolution than another. This can be easily achieved with P-Tax. Open the Select Move tray and select the Faces tool. Click the model where you might need more detail, like the eye area. It highlights in yellow, indicating that it has been selected. Now when you start the Mesh p setup from the main menu, only the selected faces can be adjusted. p is a great way to create a more refined model without the creation of cumbersome UV maps. Remember to always make sure that the rendering or animation software that will use the model is capable of handling PTEX files.